Yo, what's going on guys? Fabian Rizzo coming at you guys with a brand new video. Today's video is going to be a highly requested video. As you guys know, I do my polls every week asking what videos you guys want to see. I think today's, this week's options were vlogs, palace drops, or sneaker collection. Sneaker collection took it, so today we're going to be looking at the entire sneaker collection. And we're going to go, not too in-depth, because I don't want to make it too long and boring, but I want to make it, like, interesting, you know, keep it keep things exciting and short. Because I, I get bored when I watch, like, really, really long videos, so I feel like a lot of you guys can relate to that, too. So anyways, let's get right into this. Hope you enjoyed that b-roll here's my channel anyways um, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how I organize all these shoes and how everything is going so far and I'll be talking about future pickups to fill up those empty spaces I don't know about you guys I hate seeing those empty spaces so let's get right into them all right guys so these boxes you guys are seeing here I actually picked these up from the container store they have one in the Grove here in LA and let me just explain to you guys how everything is organized Okay, now that I'm down here. So over here on the first top row, these are like more or less my everyday shoes, which is the Yeezys. I pretty much wear Yeezys every single day because to me they're still really comfortable shoes. And then down here I have some more Adidas shoes to continue the Yeezy pattern because I have a few more Yeezys here. And then the Pharrells and NMDs, when they used to be hyped, I had them, you know, they were still dope. Um, so this is just like the everyday section because I really like wearing these on the daily. I mean, I wear a lot of Jordan 1s daily also, but more or less the Yeezys. Like, you know, the cream whites. You can't go wrong with cream whites. The zebras, you guys can see I really wear these a lot. I beat the hell out of these things. There's that. I even put, like, special Dr. Scholl's insoles in here, so they're even more comfortable. Because I, I tend, I walk around a lot, especially on college now. Same thing with these, the clays. Okay, that broke. That's that broke. That that one broke. But yeah, these are really comfy also. And you know, just all the Yeezys. I have the Belugas here, the Coppers, and the Breads. You guys have probably seen this a thousand times, so I'm not gonna bother. Um, down here, I have some my only 500s, which are the Supermoon Yellows. I don't know why I really like these, so I still copped. Most of my shoes have the insoles, which makes them even 100 times kind of more comfortable. This might have to be my favorite pair of, like, everyday shoes. I love this shoe. It's literally so freaking comfortable, and the colors are dope, and I feel like it matches with a lot of, with a lot of things, you know? And I'm probably going to get a few more 700s, just because I like wearing 700s. I like that chunky look. The Pharrells, you guys have probably seen these a few times before. I never really wear those. I don't know why I bought them. Moving on over here, just have the OG NMDs. I don't know how many of you guys remember these. These used to go for like $400 back in the day. Now they're like 100 bucks, if that. So this is more or less just two sections of Adidas. And I'm hoping to fill, hoping to fill these out with a couple more Yeezy 700s or so. I'm thinking about, about getting the 700 V2 Statics and the Hospital Blue 700 V2s. I feel like those colors are dope, and I haven't seen any crazy stuff lately from them. And then down here I have the Jordan 1 section. So every shoe here in this row are all Jordan 1s. To name a few, I have my personal Travis Scott pair. These are mine. I rarely wear them as you guys can see that. I take very good care of them. And these right here, these one, two, three are my beaters. I got the Game Royals, the Pine Greens, and then these these ones. I started beating these up more because, you know, I like the colors and matches. And then the the ones I rarely ever wear, or you know, I wear them when I go out a lot technically, would have to be the two I beat these up a lot because I just thought they would look cool beat up, and they do look pretty cool beat up. I mean, yeah, I beat the hell out of these things. And then this box broke. I hate this stupid box. And then I have the other, you know, the, the black and the white. My goal is to get the, um, the UNCs because I want to have all three of them just to have them all just for collection purposes. So 
I'm gonna be getting those very soon. Moving on down to this next row, this is all Nike Off-White, except for this here. So I'm assuming to have everything here in Nike Off-White and uh, just, just have that section built up. And then we'll get into those two shoes down here at the very end of the video. But just my Off-White Nike collection would have to be the Black Prestos. Don't forget about the giveaway happening right now, actually, just 200 more subs, so 1,000. Um, 300 subs and I'll be giving away a pair of any size just because I got the plug who can get me them who can get me these on the low low so that's why I'm giving those away OG's oh, also these are probably one of my favorites I've also worn these a lot these are yeah top shoes for me personally I love the look like the regular Prestos are kind of whack but these are cool I bought these a while ago the off-white Zoom Terras. Like, I think these are dope. And a lot of people hate on them, but I just think they're dope. And for the price, I mean, you can't go wrong. I think I got these for like 220 You can't go wrong for a pair of off-whites for 220 I mean, they do feel a little weird when you walk because they are running shoes, but they're still comfortable. And they're, they're cool. I like them. I don't know about you guys. Put a comment down below if you like these. Would you cop these or not? So, last pair here of the Nike Off-Whites, again in my insult, is the, uh, the Volts. The Volts, I always thought they were hot, you know. People were always like, oh, the black ones are better, but I'm like, dude, the Volts. That's the move. Not, you don't ever see too many people busting these out, because these are pretty wild, they're out there. So like, because they're just really bright. I don't think the camera does it justice. If you guys were here with me, you could see how bright these things are. It's kind of like, it's almost a little blinding to me. And then, just to talk about future pickups, these two boxes here, which are going to be empty. That one over there is going to be empty. I'll get into that later. I'm hoping to get the UNCs, like I said, but I also want to get the, the Off-White Air Force Ones, uh, the MCA colorway. If you guys don't know what that is, here's a picture of that right here. It's a Museum of Art in Chicago, exclusive only. On here, I have more or less designer shoes. I forgot I have one more pair of Off-White shoes. The off-white Chuck Taylors. I rarely wear these, even though they're so beat up, but I rarely wear these ever. I'm just gonna toss them in here because it's like the off-white section, I guess. So I got three here, three designer shoes. I don't even know if you can consider these designer, but I will. So I have these three high tops. I'm into high tops. I have the Dior Oblique high tops. The Fear of God Converse. These are like more or less my skate shoes because when I skate in college, you know, I gotta get around to around the class and stuff. I skate in these. So these are almost daily drivers also. Then the last one that I have are these Gucci's. Dude, I bought these Gucci's and I, man, I never wear these things. These Gucci shoes with the snakes. I never wear them because I just don't know when to bust them out. And like, like sometimes you're like, oh, do I wanna wear this all black shoe? with this snake here, or do I want to wear like off-white Chicago's? And like, it's like, because it's the same colors, I always pick the, chi the Chicago over this, which is just bad. That's why I'm not gonna buy too many more designer sneakers, because I just don't really wear designer sneakers, because they're not, first, one, they're not comfy. Two, they're extremely expensive. Like these, I think I paid like $1,100 for these shoes, Dior. You know, they're nice, they're in style and all that, but like, this part back here, it like rubs against your heel and it just hurts, bro. Whereas if you get a Jordan 1, I know it's overpriced because it's $190. At least it's comfortable, you know? None of these are comfortable. Well, this one's not bad. So those are those. And then at this bottom row, we kind of just have some random stuff that I never wear. Because like the way I see it is I'm lazy. I don't know about you guys. I'm lazy. I like to just wake up in the morning I wake up early and then I just grab the top row and I don't have to be squatting down to get shoes and stuff. <laughs> that's how lazy I am, but that's how I plan everything out. That's why I have everything set up the way it is. Um, so this bottom row is just stuff I never wear. Like these, these are Wheat Air Force Ones. I literally bought these to BMX and I wear these in the rain. These are like my rain shoes. They literally look brand new, but it's because they're always in the rain. I get these things so dirty only in the rain. Then I have this pair, which, like, I don't know, dude, I don't really play basketball that much. They're dead stock. I could literally, like, lick the bottom of them. 
I didn't actually do that, by the way. Don't ever think I actually licked the bottom of shoes. That's disgusting. Even though they're brand new. Um, these are Air Jordan 33s, Travis Scott's. I mean, I just bought them because they're Travis Scott, I guess. But, like, I don't see myself ever wearing these shoes. They seem, like, really tough because they're basketball shoes, so go figure. So I don't see myself wearing these. I mean, they're cool. This is Cactus Jack. Whatever. I'll just have them. Just to have. Then right here... Black Cement 3s, 2011, you know, because it doesn't have the Nike here on the back. I got these at a steal, bro. These are used. I got them for like 150, man. I got them from Cool Kicks. Shout out to Cool Kicks. One of my favorite sneaker stores out here in Melrose. 150. I mean, I had to pick them up. They're not even my size. They're like, they're 11 and a half. I'm usually, I'm always a 12. But like, they still fit. But I tried putting in my little insole, and it just, it just wasn't the same. So I'm just not going to do that. And I just have them now. I don't really wear them ever. They're a nice pair of shoes. I should start wearing them more. And then these are just way too small for them for me. I got these at a good price because I remember when I when I got them, they were going for like twelve hundred or something like that. The cause fours, you know, they light up the bottom and all that. But these are a size like oh my TV just turned off. Yeah, when I got these, these were going for like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, and I actually ended up paying like seven hundred for them. I got the, I got these at uh, either round two or the cool. Someone they gave me a good ass deal. I usually like buying on Melrose because like I don't know about you guys, but this is me and me only, I guess. I don't like waiting for things, and sometimes I'll, I'll even overpay for items just because I want them now. Like these, I could have gotten them for three hundred dollars on StockX, but I was like, nah, bro, I want them now. So I got them for three hundred and forty dollars at Cool Kicks. Because I wanted them now, you know? And then plus the StockX fees and all that, you're like, yeah, I might as well just pay a little extra and you get them right now instead of waiting like two weeks to save like 10 bucks. I have my Gucci slides, which I wear pretty much all the time. I don't know if you count those as sneakers, but they're part of my shoe footwear. And I have two more pairs of shoes, but you guys won't be too excited about these, so don't expect anything insane. Because these are just my work shoes, but you guys asked for a sneaker. Collection, so this is gonna be my all of my sneakers that I own. So when I go to work, I either wear one of two shoes. I usually will wear these. These are not hype at all. These are literally seventy-five dollars, and uh, they're just your regular shoes, bro. They're <laughs> just your regular Nikes. They're pretty beat. I washed them a few times, and they're even more beat now. They are comfortable, which I will give them that for seventy-five bucks. You're not overpaying. You're paying you know, what it should be, and they, they do the job, you know, I don't really care if these get like oil stains all over them, which they do, or if I they, they get dirty or creased or whatever, but now instead of wearing these, because I just don't like these as much anymore, and I had these for a while, and I'm never wearing these, the all black reflective Air Max 97s, um, yeah, these are getting more beat up all the time, you guys can see them, I really beat these up, and I wear these to the gym. Oh man, these things are really getting beat up. Yeah, I wear them to the gym and stuff. And uh, yeah, they're just more comfortable than these, I think. So these are just my work shoes. Nothing special, guys. But yeah, that's pretty much everything in my sneaker collection to this day. And then I might be getting these early, depending on how I'm feeling, depending on my income, I guess. It would be the Travis Scott Air Jordan 6s. You guys know these haven't even dropped. They're releasing in October. I low key want them now, so I might just. Oh, man, but they're like they're going for an insane amount of money right now. I'll, I gotta think about that one, but <clears throat> put a comment down below if you guys want me to cop the Travis Scott Jordan Sixes early and do a review for you guys. I'm willing to do that just for the video, honestly. So if you guys smash the like button on this video and I see the support and I see that you guys want me to buy those early, I'll, I'll do it, guys, because I want them early too. But I just don't want to pull the trigger like that yet. So put a comment down below. And I'll order them ASAP if you guys want me to do that. One more Jordan 1 that I want to get is probably the Union ones. I never got around to getting those. I want the ones that um, are blue and then they have the red uh, top part. But yeah, guys, that's going to be my sneaker collection. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to make it short and sweet but like good at the same time. I don't want to make it boring where I go into detail about every single shoe. Like, oh, I got this shoe back in 2014. Like, nah, bro. I, don't, you, I know you guys don't care about the history of what I got. You guys just really wanted to see what I have here. Because you guys 
get glimpses at it, but never got to see the full thing. I did post a video back in December, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it over here. You guys can check that out over here. You guys can see how much my collection has expanded from that video in December. Um, I'll be doing these videos pretty constant, I guess, like because I'll be getting more shoes, and I'll update you guys when I get something. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to smash the like button. Put a comment down below if you guys want to get the Travis Scott Air Jordan 6s early and the MCAs to review those for you guys. I'll just do a quick review, unboxing all that business, and I'll post it for you guys. And let me know if you guys want to see vlogs because I have a few vlogs that are ready that I filmed from this trip I went on. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.